So I have finally got access to Manus. What is Manus? Manus is a general AI agent. Manus was recently launched by a Chinese company, but currently Manus is not available for everyone to use. It is invite only and I finally got access and now I am super excited to test Manus. There are plenty of use cases mentioned on their website, like it can deeply analyze stocks, it can do comparative analysis of insurance policies, it can even create interactive courses, it can go through a directory and fetch any certain kind of information. But the best use case that I found so far was actually from this video. So this is Greg and he used Manus to find $1 million plus AI startup ideas. Greg had a very specific approach in finding this $1 million idea. So we'll try to follow the same kind of approach. I have prepared this prompt. So I'll just use this prompt. I'll paste that prompt in description so you can find this prompt from the description. So this prompt says, I want to create a business which is going to make $1 million in 12 months. In finding such idea that has capability to earn $1 million in 12 months, we need to find a proven idea. We need to find the pain points. So basically this idea should be something that is solving some actual problems. So if we fix that problem, then it will be easier for us to grow this business to $1 million in next 12 months. To get inspiration, I want you to have a look at the startups in last two batches of Y Combinator. Please review each company and analyze what sort of companies are being selected. I definitely want this idea to be an AI powered idea because this is the trend right now. Furthermore, you can visit Reddit and try to find issues that people are raising in subreddit. So just make sure that the idea that you find should be something that is needed now and there is a sizable audience. Now we could easily give this prompt to traditional chatbot, something like ChatGPT, something like Gemini. They do good job as well. But the way Manus works, what Manus will do, Manus will actually go to Y Combinator website. It will actually go through all of the startups. It will use its browser. It will go through each company. It will analyze the data and then it will go through Reddit and then try to find the pain points in Reddit. So this is the difference between a traditional chatbot and an AI agent. In the later part of this video, after Manus will have its results, we'll try using the same prompt in Gemini and chat GPT and see that what they come up with. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. Our goal for this video is to reach 1000 likes. All right. So once our prompt is ready, let's just press enter and see how Manus works. So right now you can see I need to enable browser notifications. So I'll just click on this enable now and Manus has just started working. While Manus is working, you can send messages anytime to modify tasks, add information or stop current work. Feel free to leave this page. Manus will continue working in the background and notify you once the task is ready. All right. So right now Manus is thinking it will just like start its research. Now Manus is initializing computer and hopefully it will open that browser in here. Right now it has just created this to do.md file and now it is searching why combinator latest batch startups 2025. All right. I think the latest batch is winter 2025 and spring 2025. So now it is going through all of that information. So this is the Y Combinator website. And from here, you can simply just look for the companies and look for this startup directory. From here, you can see all of these different batches. So all of these companies are listed based on these batches. So the last batch was X25. Then there was fall 2025, summers, winters 2024, summers 2023, winter 2023. So all of these companies are listed here based on their batch. Batches. And even you can apply further filters in here. You can find B2B companies. You can find fintech companies. You can find companies in healthcare, in real estate. And then similarly, you can find the regions. You can find companies in South Asia, in Europe, in America, in Oceania, or just like anywhere that you want. Okay, so now Manus is asking this question. Would you like me to focus on any particular industry or problem areas as I continue my research? One problem I think that Manus is facing is it cannot access Reddit. Reddit access is blocked. So as an alternative, Manus is going to use these different blogs. Manus is visiting right now Forbes and then 25 AI predictions for small businesses. So it is just like analyzing all of this data. For this kind of research, Manus usually take like 10 to 15 minutes, but let's see that how much time it will take this time. Now Manus has opened this McKinsey's website and I think it is going through this blog by McKinsey. So it's good that if Reddit access was blocked, so Manus now is like finding an alternative ways and like try to go through all of these popular blogs to find like any pain points and find any trendy ideas. So right now Manus is creating this file, which is Reddit pain points. Now it is editing this to do file, which is identifying AI powered business opportunities. And you can see that every Thing that Manus is doing, we can see that in real time, we can see it doing all that research just like your virtual assistant will do. So, because I used to have a virtual assistant, and for this kind of jobs, I used to like ask him to do like a proper research and go through all of these websites. So, he used to like take maybe like for this kind of task, he used to take a couple of days, and it used to like cost me a lot as well. But I think now we got Manus, we got this AI agent that is doing maybe better job than that 
virtual assistant and it's more efficient and the good thing about ai agents is they won't get sick and they won't ask for a leave so that's good thing but if i just like look at this particular use case and if i need to like hire a virtual assistant who just does this kind of research because i used to need a lot of research work because we used to like publish apps a lot of apps on google play store and apple app store so we are always looking for any trendy ideas any like trendy keywords so for this kind of like virtual assistant who could do just this kind of research work so it used to cost me around you can say 700 to 800 dollars per month for that kind of person who's sitting in pakistan india bangladesh and like they used to like charge that kind of money but now i think at a fraction of a cost we can have like this kind of ai assistant who is far more efficient and it does the job right then and there you know the scary thing i used to have like this kind of virtual assistants just a year ago but things have changed so much in last one year that now i don't need that virtual assistant and this is how ai is replacing humans and that is scary but i mean that's good as well on the other hand but it is scary the reason why i'm just talking right now is because i want to like show you this in real time that this is its workflow because not everyone has access to manus so that's why i just want to like show you that what works actually when you give it a prompt after that what it does so right now it is moving to compile detailed business ideas based on market analysis and prioritization so i think it has just completed its research and right now it is just like doing this and right now it is just like compiling all of the findings and then creating a file okay so manus has just completed its current task and these are the files that it has provided let me just look at the business ideas so the first file is the detailed business ideas then there is why community startups then there is reddit pain points then there is market analysis then there is business ideas so let me just look on view all files in the task and then from here i'm just open the detailed business ideas okay so this is what it has got the first idea is ai powered customer service automation the concept is an end to end ai customer service platform that combines conversational ai voice recognition and human agent collaboration to provide seamless customer support across different channels all right then it has provided the market opportunity which is projected to reach 47.82 billion dollars by 2030 all right the next idea is personalized market automation for small businesses an ai powered marketing platform specifically designed for small businesses that creates deploys and optimizes market campaigns across multiple channels emails sms social with minimal human input that the system learns from customer interaction to continuously improve campaign performance all right then there is market opportunity this particular market is expected to reach more than 217 billion dollar by 2035 that's amazing the third idea is ai financial advisor for small business owners an ai powered financial advisory platform specifically designed for small business owners that provides ongoing financial guidance cash flow forecasting expense optimization and strategic recommendations all right got it so the next idea is ai inventory and pricing optimization for retail okay this idea is a bit different an ai powered platform that helps retail optimize inventory levels and pricing strategies based on the market conditions okay that's this this one is interesting seasonal trends and business goals the system uses machine learning to predict demand recommend optimal stock levels and suggest dynamic pricing strategies to maximize profits all right this is cool global ai in retail market valued at 11 to 15 billion dollars by 24 25 okay that's fine the final idea is ai agent orchestration platform so a platform that manages and coordinates multiple ai agents across different business functions ensuring they work together seamlessly while maintaining human oversight the system handles the complexity of agent interactions provides monitoring and control mechanisms and ensure consistent performance across the ai ecosystem all right and it is expected to grow from 5 billion dollars in 24 to 47 billion dollars in 2030 that too has great potential all right so let's just look at the reddit pain points so what it has done like what it has found in reddit pain point so overview while direct access to reddit was blocked this analysis compiles insights from various authoritative sources including forbes mckinsey and all worked out space to identify key business pain points to identify okay so the first one is small business challenges rising operational cost and inflation supply chain disruption fierce competition political and economic certain political and economic uncertainty and then there is changing consumer behaviors 
got it okay so these are the findings that it found like these are the pain points of small businesses then there is technology adoption barriers that has ai maturity cap while 92 percent of companies plan to increase ai investments only one percent consider themselves mature in ai development all right so implementation challenges difficulty integrating ai into existing workflows distrust and safety concerns about half of the employees worry about ai inaccuracy and cyber security risk leadership hesitation business leaders are more cautious about ai adoption than employees ROI uncertainty, unclear short-term returns on investment despite long-term potential benefits. All right, cool. And now you can see there are key trends in recent Y Combinator startups. AI generated code for about a quarter of the current YC startups, 95% of their code was written by AI. This phenomenon called wipe coding. Okay, so now it is actually taking web coding seriously. Smaller teams and bigger impact. Fine. Focus on profitability. Earlier commercial validation. So a lot of startups in Y Combinator are launched recently by the founders by like small teams who just did like wipe coding and then launched something quickly it has also got the list of some of the startups from this recent batch the first one is abundant what it does api for agent teleportation okay why it is notable allow human operators to take over when ai agent will fail all right the next one is browser use what it does lets ai agents navigate browsers yeah i know about browser use the next one is gradeviz replaces tedious grading work with ai all right the next one is misprint robin hood for pokemon cards okay so next byte uses ai to find best wipe coders oh really okay this startup is interesting so next byte so this is actually an ai recruiter tuned to identify the best wipe coders cool that's nice okay so this this is something interesting i'll actually make some video on this so this is basically a recruitment startup that hires wipe coders i should have launched this idea seriously then there is this robotics company okay fine cool so it has done its research it has like got all of these findings and it has like then created like presented different ideas to us so now we can just ask it to based on the ideas that it found that it has finalized so it, we can ask it to like get one idea that manus is like we can say comfortable and more confident about so let's just ask it to give us just one idea out of these five different ideas great job manus now i want you to just shortlist one idea out of these five business ideas just give me one idea that you are comfortable and and confident that this idea can be one million dollar business in next 12 months let's just press enter and see what it does okay so manus is saying based on my comprehensive analysis i would shortlist ai powered customer service automation okay so manus has given some reasons the reason is largest and most urgent market need AI customer service is projected to grow from 12 billion to 47 billion dollars by 2030 okay clear and immediate roi business can see businesses can see 30 to 50 percent cost reduction in customer service all right simplest path to 1 million the revenue model of 199 to 999 per month subscription plus implement service provides multiple revenue streams with 200 customers at $800 per month average you can reach 1 million annually okay sounds achievable I don't know lower customer acquisition barriers unlike financial or inventory systems that require significant trust and integration customer service solutions can be implemented alongside existing systems with minimum disruption all right scalable technology the core AI conversation technology has matured significantly making development more predictable than some of the other AI applications competitive mode by focusing on seamless hands-off between AI and human agents a common pain point in the current solution you can differentiate from competitors who treat these as separate systems so overall Manus has done the good job it has done the complete research then it has like shortlisted five ideas and out of those five ideas it has like shortlisted one idea that that particular idea has has capability to reach to 1 million dollars i might make some further videos on that particular idea that how you can now build that idea so i'll just like create a series of videos and try to guide you that how you can build that idea as well if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this youtube channel and just leave your comments in comment section i see you next video bye bye